Okay, today I'm here with uh, Keith Reynolds of I Wade Rock Music Festival fame. Um, we've got uh, the next uh, I Wade Rock coming up on the 26th of July. Um, and I just wanted to come and uh, interview you again today so that you could explain a little bit more about about how this all started and how we how we got to this point in time because I I came to this last year you did that's right yeah. and I thought it was absolutely fantastic and I, it, it, I really wasn't expecting it I'm not being funny but I saw this as a very local thing just for the village everybody and actually, thought it was going to be some kind of village fate that's 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 the thing but no, yeah. it's, it's it's developed into um, into more of a which is where I want to take it into you know like a little mini Glastonbury that's that's yeah that's it has, I, I, I have to say you know out of the things that happen in Sittingbourne this is probably one of the premier music festivals now Excellent. yeah there's only one other larger one that I'm even aware of yeah. so it's, we won't mention we that won't one. mention that no. one no <laughs> I I'm quite fascinated by this because okay. I know that this must take an enormous amount of effort to put on. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. And um, you are not an events organiser by day. No, but I am a project manager by day. Yeah, I know. That, so that it's, must the, help. it's the same kind of thing, but just on just you know, it's it's the same line of work, but just in a different area. If you know, if I'm in construction. Um, is my day job. Um, but in evenings, weekends, any bit of free time that I get, I'm, I'm around, you know, doing a bit of uh, organising for music concerts. So, yeah, I enjoy it. It's, you know, I play well, a band, so I enjoy the music side of it, I enjoy the organisation of it, and I, obviously it's my little bit to help the community as well. So Yeah, and I think, well, that this is one thing that I think we should certainly explain to people, yeah. that this is about raising money for charities. 100%, yeah. And so... Um, who are the charities this year? This year's charities, uh, uh, or um, yeah, the people that uh, the organisations that we're going to be helping. Uh, the first one is I Wade School. Um, uh, we're going to be splitting the money three ways. Whatever profit that we make from the event will be split three ways. One of the beneficiaries will be I Wade School. The other beneficiary is the I Wade Herons, uh, which is a local um, football team for anything from under 15s down to under fives. And there's about eight or nine teams within the I Wade Herons banner. Um, so we're going to be giving them some money, um, and the other one is um, the village hall. The village hall, correct? Yeah, because obviously <laughs> that's that's where I Wade Rock started. Um, yeah. So we thought, although we're taking it away from the venue, we wanted still we wanted to give them something back. So uh, yeah, I Wade Village Hall, I Wade Herons, and the I Wade School. So g given given that I think this is also something we should explain to people, yeah. it's actually quite a significantly larger affair this year than it was last yes. year. It's well, we were getting to that stage. The first year it was on, we had a few hundred people through the gate. Um, second year we probably doubled that at about four hundred, and then again it grew to about six fifty last year. Uh, yeah. You were there, you saw yeah. how busy it was. Yeah. Uh, there wasn't six hundred and fifty people at one, you know, at one point in the day, but throughout the day we had six hundred and fifty through the gate. Um, it was a little bit comfy, I like to call it comfy, there was a big stage, there was a lot of stalls, uh, a lot of kids running about, and I just felt that for the day to be more enjoyable, the venue need, needed to expand. Unfortunately the Village Hall couldn't give that to us, uh, because obviously they're only a certain size, so I went looking, um, I spoke to the head teacher of the local school, um, and put the idea to her, and she was like, yeah, fantastic, it's nice to integrate the school more into the village. Um, <coughs> and it's going to be a massive success, I think. I mean, we've got a, a large capacity field, essentially, with the stage. There's a lot more stalls, there's a lot more going on for the children. There's fire engines, there's going to be face painting, glitter tattoos, um, inflatable assault courses, quad bikes, uh, hog roast, barbecue. I mean, yeah, the list goes on. It's just such a massive space. I can put more on to entertain the kids and the adults as well. Yeah, I think one one of the the really lovely things, and I think that people should also be aware of this if they're planning to come, is you're not kind of locked in. Once you get there, no, you can right. you can come and go as you please. Yeah, it's the wristband thing yeah. that we we issue out. Um... But that's, I think I think that's lovely because I'm, I'm sure that some people will look at this and go, well, there are ten bands and it starts at 
midday or something. Midday, midday till 10 p.m. And, and goes on till 10 p.m. That was well, a long time for us to be there. Yeah. But actually, you can just sort of drop in for an hour, drop out again. Yeah. You can come for as long as you that's want. It. That's yeah. that's the beauty of having a wristband event where you can just come and go. As long as you keep your wrist, you know, your wristband on, you can come and go as and when, however many times you want. So how long have you been preparing for this already? Um, well, what was the date of last year's run? Was it, <laughs> was it the 19th of July? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Well, so the 20th of July. Okay. 2013, <laughs> essentially. Quite, um, a, quite a long time. Yeah, I mean, that was mainly for the bands, obviously. The, the interest in the, in the, in the, from the bands comes straight away. As soon as I put stuff up online on Facebook, as soon as I put anything on my own Facebook feed or Twitter, um, other bands in the area are like, oh, we want a little bit of that. Is it, you know, and all of a sudden, I'm getting emails coming and I have to sift through all the bands and see which ones are, are going to go down well. Um, so I've gone for a mix this year. I've got 50% covers and 50% original bands just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Yeah, um, I, I, I like that. And just I try like... and promote the, yeah. the amount of talent that we've got in Kent uh, yeah. Locally, you know, I mean, they're not all from Medway or Swale, but they're from Dover, Ashford, Maystone, um, you know, Swale, Medway. They're all over the Kent, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to just get their music out there a little bit more. Yeah. For everyone to enjoy. And and, ha- and how many bands do you have playing? We've got ten bands yeah. playing in total. So it's year. it's it looks like it's kind of working out about an hour per forty five minute slot with a okay. fifteen minute changeover on stage. Yeah. So. so people could like if if they know in advance they could sort of turn up on the hour to see a band. Yeah. And they, yeah There'll be a band starting every hour throughout the from twelve all the way through to nine. Tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Um. And I think we should also point out, because this is a charity event, every single one of these bands does this free of charge, completely voluntary. Correct, yeah. They Absolutely don't take nothing. a penny from no. this, do they? Nothing at all. And what, what, what kind of styles of music do you, can we expect to see from these bands? Uh, you've got everything from um, indie rock, kind of, you know, stereophonics, Muse, Blur, Oasis, that kind of stuff, through to your kind of Franz Ferdinandy kind of bands. Um, then you've got heavier rock, Crashgate are headliners, um, they're a heavy rock, I say heavy rock, I'm not talking Anthrax or you know Metallica kind of style, but just a heavier, uh, a non-commercial heavier kind of rock kind of, kind of scene. Um, and then you've got bands that play Motown, Soul, Funk, um, uh, and then there's Marlebone Jelly, which were, went down fantastically well last year. They're more of a, you know, they're a local band. Um, they're, they're more sort of pop party kind of covers, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I've laid it out in such a way that there's a covers band, then there's an originals band, and then covers, etc, etc. So it'll keep people interested, plus it'll get new music out there. Hopefully promote the bands, you know, as as, as well as I possibly can. Um, but there'll be something for everyone. That's that's my that's my intention. Something for everyone. Hmm. And it, and this is definitely a family friendly event, oh, isn't it? There, there, there are there yeah. are there are going to be activities, more activities than there were last year. Indeed, yeah. In 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 there for people to do. Yeah, that's there's cool. plenty of plenty of little places uh, selling sweets and candy floss and chocolate to keep them all amused. Um, there's a sand art stall where they can draw pictures with coloured sand. Um, uh, face painting, glitter tattoos, um, inflatables. I mean, I'm not talking just a bouncy castle. We're talking a big bouncy castle for the older kids, the small one for the little kids, and then um, an obstacle course, an inflatable obstacle course, which is 60 foot long. Uh, we've got a quad bike track for the kids as well. Um, uh, there's going to be a penalty shootout competition. We've got uh, Danny Kedwell from Gillingham FC coming along as well. Um, he's coming down to do some autograph signing. Um, so there's going to be m- much more there for the kids to come and have a little look at and have a play. Okay, and, and finally, I suppose we need to know how can people buy tickets and how much are they? Tickets are easy to get hold of. You either ring me, uh, you can ring me on 07921 or you can find us on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Rock. Yeah. Um, you can tweet us at Iwaid Rock, um, or you can uh, go on to the uh, Iwaid Village website, or the Iwaid yeah Iwaidvillage.co.uk, or the Iwaid Does Facebook page. And there's many ways of getting hold of me, um, but those are the main ones. Um, tickets are five pound for adults. Um, children under sixteen are free. 
Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. No problem at all. Appreciate it.